Uh, hi, so uh, my name is Tony Mullin, uh, I'm the uh, director from uh, Your Backyard. Uh, and so I have two hats on with regard to this project. Uh, as well as being the director of Your Backyard, who uh, are managing, and developed and are managing the project in partnership with Bramley Elderly Action, uh, and of course all our wonderful instructors and coaches. Uh, I'm also, I was inspired by Joe Wicks during lockdown to uh, to take a fitness uh, instructor's course. Uh, so I've done that and I'm using that to deliver some of the sessions uh, myself as part of our uh, activity programme. And the three sessions that, 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 that I'm doing uh, are kind of what you might call like hit sessions, which are high intensity interval training, but we're, we're taking that very gradually. So we're starting off with the uh, what we're calling a uh, elite session, which is a low intensity interval training, and then a medium intensity interval training. Uh, and the third one is a high intensity interval training. Uh, and the idea is that, that, that there are 10 exercises, they're done twice, uh, and people do, uh, have, there's a 30 second on, 30 second off. So it's, it's short and it's intense and it's designed, apart from anything else, to get uh, the kind of cardiovascular system working more uh, efficiently and effectively. Right, hi everyone, thanks for dropping in. Uh, this is what we're uh, part of the Getting Active and Online uh, activity sessions. This one uh, is one of three that have been designed specific, specifically, but not solely, with walking football and footballers in mind. Uh, so it's primarily about kind of increasing all over the kind of body strength, particularly the lower body, the legs, you know, the, the, the quads and the thighs and the glutes, kind of things that you need to be uh, strong walking footballer. Uh, as I say, there's three sessions. This one is what we're calling the, 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 uh, the lead session. There's a meet session and a hit session. So this one is low intensity interval training. Okay. Uh, so while it's low in intensity, we're still aiming to get you, uh, get, get your, uh, your body temperature up, to, you know, towards the end, get the, uh, the heart and the lungs going, get the heart pumping around the body, uh, increase the efficiency of those kind of your whole kind of cardiovascular system and the first half of the session will be, will be about just getting your, your muscles kind of loose but by the end you should just be kind of getting out of breath at the end of each uh segment uh you need to be just thinking that you know you, you, you lose you just you lost a bit of breath and yeah uh, you're finding it hard to speak uh, a bit like me at the moment actually uh so what we're going to do is 30 seconds on 30 seconds off the, the first five exercises will do once, so 30 seconds, that'll be five minutes. And then the, the second se session, when we're just picking up the pace and the intensity of it, and getting the, uh, the blood flowing around the body, yeah, uh, we're gonna do those twice. But again, that'll be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Okay, let's turn the time on. Right, so the first one, just to get you warmed up, just gonna march on the spot. Yeah, okay, so swinging your arms, and picking your knees up, yeah. So we're gonna be doing this for, 30 seconds, you're doing it at your own pace, nice and easy for starters. The idea is just to get your, uh, your muscles nice and nice and loose, okay? So 20 seconds in. If you want, for the last few seconds, if you're feeling good, you just increase the pace a bit. Just feel that your body temperature just starts slowly starting to rise, okay? That's 30 seconds, and now we have 30 seconds off. So during this time, get yourself a drink. Uh, have a walk around, keep loose if you can. Don't stand stock still, just keep loose. Uh, keep the body uh, moving so the, we don't block the body temperature, okay? 10 seconds, the next one is just gonna do a simple calf raise. So it's gonna be, in three seconds time, just standing on your toes, yeah? We're gonna do that for 30 seconds, starting from now. So your feet should be a hip width part. We're standing on our toes, you can feel the stretch in your calf, yeah? Okay, so just 10 seconds in. Again, it's nice and easy. Nice car stretch again. You know, strong car is really important for football. Last thing you want is a calf strain. That takes weeks to get over. Uh, okay, just five seconds left. Just taking that nice and easy. Two, one, okay. And relax again, just have a walk around, get a drink. If you can, keep yourself loose. Uh, 
Next one, look at the, the, the arms and the upper body, getting that loose. We're just going just gonna to circle the arms. So we're going to be going, starting off by going anti-clockwise, then we're going to be going clockwise. Uh, about 15 seconds on each, starting in 10. 10 seconds, any time in between, you want a big stretch, keep your arms going, keep your legs going, that's, that's good. Okay, so starting from now, so just circling, so nice, narrow circles, small circles, even anti clockwise. Yeah, you should feel that stretch in your, your biceps, your triceps, maybe your deltoids here as well. It's good, stretching up, now reverse it. So this time we're going to be going, that is clockwise, isn't it? Yeah. That's right, 12 more. That is clockwise. Yeah, okay. You should be starting to feel this stretch right now because I am. Yeah, which is good. Just reach up as far as you can and feel the stretch. 30 seconds, okay? Then just shake it off. Give another 30 second rest. I'll get a quick drink there. Uh, next one. Bit of hip rotation. Good for the pelvis. It's good for if you're ever at a wedding, you're doing a bit of disco dancing. This one's good. Look a bit daft, which is very good for your lower back as well. So in 10 seconds, we're going to start off doing the, just the rotation of the hips. We're going to start off anti-clockwise. Yeah, so starting now. So again, put your hands on the, on your hips, just rotating. Uh, you just alternate between anti-clockwise and clockwise, but get, get a good bit of movement in. And that's just getting your lower body. It's also good for your lower back. You get a couple of like thrusts in, that's what I do, because I've got a, got a slip disc. That's what the osteopath said, that's something, a movement like this gets that, keeps that disc where it should be. Uh, last three seconds on this, okay? And then relax. Uh, okay, so 30 seconds off. And then we'll work the uh, your pectoral muscles. These ones here, yeah. The side of your stern. Uh, Okay, so imagine when we're doing this one in 10 seconds now, we're just stretching the bands. Okay, so stretching the band now, as far as you can. Try and get your hands a bit back, almost behind your body. But then alter, we're going to alter the angle. Yeah, and you get different stretching, different places. Okay, starting this one now then. So 30 seconds of this. So again, you should always feel comfortable, but like you're uh, straining yourself as well. Okay, but alter the angle. There's a 45 degree angle. Well, we'll get that stretch in, so you're feeling it, you should be feeling it here in your delta, that's where you should be feeling it. Feeling it somewhere else, but we need to adjust this style, okay? Last few seconds, nice stretching, okay, and then relax. So that should be, that's the legs, that's the upper body. Uh, we'll do one now, we'll do like a dynamic stretching. So one or two stretches in here, that, no static, we want them all to be dynamic, so you keep the, keeping the blood uh, going, keeping the heart, the heart rate up and the body warm. I don't want the temperature, temperature dropping early, so uh, we're going to be doing in eight seconds time, going to do the heel touch. It was one, two, three, and then left hand to right heel, and then alternate one, two, three. This is your glutes, you're feeling it in there. Okay, so starting now, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you should be feeling it just in the, the bum muscle. Yeah, one, two, three. If you can, leave moving on the floor, try and do it off the soles of your your feet rather than your heels, so if you've got a bit of bounce, yeah? yeah rather than flat footed. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Again, feeling the stretching in your glute muscles. We're going to do two of these last couple of seconds. Okay, 30 seconds off. That's where you should be feeling it. Okay, a really important muscle for footballers. And it's all part of your core, you know, your, 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 uh, your glutes, hamstrings, your quads. Uh, your abs, uh, rectus abdominis, all part of your core. If you get that stronger, you'll be fitter, certainly fitter for football, kicking the ball a lot further, tackling a lot harder. Okay, last couple of seconds, so it's heel touches again, so it's one, two, three, right to left, one, two, three, left to right, yeah. The more you obviously you can pick your foot up, the more you get the stretch. Okay, we'll just do what most comfortable for you. None of this should be causing you any, any pain. If it is, just stop, have a rest. Yeah, and at any time you're feeling a little bit tired or whatever, you can just press pause and have a rest. We do try and get through the session. Last few seconds. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, good. So now I'm just going to pick up the intensity a bit, get that heart rate going. Should we get to the point now where 
if you've got two or three layers on, you want to take one off, really, because uh, your body temperature's going up, blood starts going around the body, breathing's getting a bit heavier, yeah? Uh, we're gonna start with and, and, and knees up, yeah? So it's that very slow kind of running on the spot, make sure you pick that knee up, and the higher you pick, up, pick it up, the harder it is, the more uh, intense or vigorous is the exercise. Just picking up your knee, one, two, yeah? So you can just, if you have your, hand, your hands about uh, the same height as your, your hips, yeah? And then it gives you a good idea as to how high you should be picking your, your knees up. Again, you can do it off your toes rather than the, 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 your, your, your heels or the you know, two flat foot, you've got the last bit of bounce. There, just five seconds left on this. Maybe the last, just pick up the pace a bit for the last few seconds. And that's it, okay? So just about a bit there, I'm starting to lose, get my breath getting a little bit laboured. Uh, the, heart is, heart's get, the heart is going up a bit, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, that's one of the, so the, the, the products of exercise is it improves the efficiency of your cardiovascular system. And the more you do it, the better that gets and the more you can do. So we're gonna do that one again, okay? And if you're feeling good, just pick up the pace a bit. Put your leg up a little bit higher. Okay, start again. So get off the, off the, the uh, balls of your feet if you can. That's 10 seconds in. So maybe when we get to 15. You probably wanna pick up the pace a bit. And at this point, if you have someone with you and you're talking to them, you, you feel that you were, that was getting a bit more difficult, yeah? Just because we're getting the, the breathing a little bit faster as the heart rate picks up, yeah? Getting that maximum heart rate up and then relax, okay? So next up is the reverse of that. This one's for the quads, that was more for the hamstrings. They're really important for footballers. They have strong quad muscles, kicking, tackling, shielding the ball. Okay, it's going to be a heel flick. So we're going to be flicking to the reverse of that one. Licking the heel up to the bum, okay? Uh, so in five seconds we'll go. Take it easy first. It's about rhythm, it's about balance as well. If you're struggling a bit, just have a, take a bit of a time out, okay? If you can, again, off the, off the balls, balls of your feet, rather than off your, so you don't, you're not too flat footed. Then when you're feeling the stretch, the key thing is you're feeling that stretch in your quadricep muscle, yeah? Okay, so 10 seconds to go. And say so if you're feeling good, you know, you can pick up the pace of it. If you do that, you will, your breathing will start to get faster. Uh, and your heart rate will go up, okay? And relax, well done. Okay, about three quarters of the way in now. Well done, stay with it. Uh, we're doing, so doing one more heel flicks. Uh, we're going to do another 30 seconds of them. As I say, as long as you feel the stretch, feel the stretch, the main thing is, just make sure you're feeling a your stretch, you get to the point where you're not uncomfortable, but you can feel that's that strain and stretch in the muscle. If it's not feeling uncomfortable, just have, have a rest. We're just missing out, okay? Last couple of seconds. So again, heel flicks. Uh, make sure you're feeling that stretch. If you can, you pick up the pace of it. Or the main thing is about rhythm, it's also good for your balance, because you're only on one foot most of the time. It's good for your balance. Uh, and again, it's helping your core. All the time, your core should be engaged. You, know, you should feel like you're quite tense there and your, you know, your ab muscles, uh, your back should be straight and your spine should be neutral. Okay, uh, right, so we've got jogging next. Just while I was having 10, 20 seconds off, neutral spine, his feet you know, will be hit, hit, hit width apart, uh, standing straight, keeping your abs in, and then you'd push out like a pelvic thrust, push your tailbone back, and then the bit in the middle, that's roughly, that, that's where you should be for neutral, the neutral spine. And that should be roughly where your spine should be for any exercise. Okay, so this is going to be jogging on the spot, but as we're jogging, yeah, nice and easy, just going to be boxing, yeah? So it's jogging with the punching out, yeah? Okay. So like your shadow boxing, you're also picking Picking your knees up. So this one is, you know, it's quite vigorous, this one. It's getting quite hard, you know, just slow down, take it easy. Or well, you want to shake off your arms, do that, and then pick it up again, that's fine. Try and get to the end, four seconds left. Okay. Good, well done, that's quite vigorous. You should feel now that your, your heart rate is up. That blood's pumping around your body. You're getting nice and warm. 
that's just where we want you to be, yeah? Uh, if you do two or three of these a week, that will really will increase your cardio, vascular, efficiency and effectiveness, uh, and you'll see some really big benefits. Okay, so we're gonna do that again in five seconds, six seconds. So again, jogging, a pace that you feel comfortable with, you know, whilst the punching arms so it's good for coordination, yeah? If you can't keep your eyes fixed on a point ahead, you let your head drop, uh, punch now. Remember to keep your, keep your knees picked up, yeah? If you want, you can change the angle of that. Take a good stretch in your, your biceps as well, so. 10 seconds to go, yeah? This is what we should be getting out of breath. By the end, by that time it's finished. Four seconds to go, three, two, one. Okay, relax. 30 seconds off, well done. That was, that really was picking up the pace. The next one we're gonna do is, uh, is similar to that one. We're gonna be uh, kicking out or, or punching out, yeah? We're getting the legs into this one as well. So it's your upper body, it's your lower body, it's your whole cardiovascular system kicking into gear. It's a really good one, uh, what we're aiming for. Okay, so we're gonna go in five seconds. So it's, it's kicking out, yeah? Again, it's got coordination. If you're struggling to have a rest, have a think about it. Start off maybe with the punching and then kicking out, yeah? Left and right. Yeah, again, doing off your toes, you're off in your, your heels, yeah? If you get any time, you just have a rest, shake it out and then you know, join back in again, yeah? Just get to the point where you just feel a little bit out of breath and uh, talking's going to be a little bit laboured. Okay, three, two, one, good. So yeah, should we get, get another lay off now? Take a little drink of water. One more, we're done. One more, we've done the session. Well done. Because it's interval training and it is quite intensive, that's why it's short. You don't need to exercise for hours and end to get the benefit. In short time, these ones are perfect for you. Okay, five seconds again. And then jogging. Sorry, now we're kicking out, yeah? So punching out, kicking out, right, left. And so if you're getting a bit hard, just have a break, shake it off, and then just start again. And then we're going to the last 15 seconds of the session now. If you want, you can pick up the pace of it if you're feeling good. If not, just make sure you get to the end. As I say, last 10 seconds. Should we get to the point now you're just thinking, oh, no, I don't really need something. Give a little bit out of breath. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, and that's it, 15 minutes. Uh, intense, intense interval training. Three of those a week, uh, we're well on the way to becoming a very fit walking football. Okay, see you soon, bye.